Garden. <laughs> uh, taking a look, November weather remains on hold moving forward. Not only that, it will get even warmer as we head into the upcoming weekend. We will take a run at record warmth with temperatures climbing into the low to mid 70s for Saturday and for Sunday. Let's say you got to get to work on some of the leaves that are hanging around in your backyard, right? The weather has been really nice for not just spending time outside, maybe doing some yard work. Tomorrow's going to be great for that. I do want to let you know this weekend will be a bit breezy, you know, not damaging winds, but we'll see a wind out of the south at 5 to 15 and there could be some gusts up to 20 or 25 miles per hour. I just want to let you know that in case you put your leaves in a pile and then Mother Nature undoes it by blowing them all around. Taking a look at the weekend forecast though, the numbers are pretty staggering for this time of year. So you're doing these fall things like raking leaves or going apple picking or doing a corn maze. But with temperatures in the mid 70s here, it's really just not going to feel appropriate for all those fall activities that you might be doing this weekend. And that's really the biggest problem this weekend is trying to figure out out how you're going to enjoy the nice weather. Temperatures right now are in the 60s as we head through the evening tonight. Overnight lows will dip into the low to mid 40s. One issue you might run into overnight is the chance for some patchy dense fog, especially in valley locations. So it might be low visibility out there for some to start off the day tomorrow. Give it a little bit of time and we break for sunshine and it is another a knockout afternoon with highs around 70 degrees and here comes the weekend warmth lower to middle 70s for your Saturday warm but breezy heading through the day on Saturday. We could see gusts up to around 20 or 25 miles per hour. We'll see similar gusts during the day on Sunday, but it'll be just as warm and I think more cloud cover overall. There's a slight chance for a sprinkle during the day on Sunday or early Monday, but I think most of the area ends up staying dry. We fall back this weekend heading into early Sunday morning and then temperatures get close to average again for this time of year as we head into your election day highs in the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees, which is certainly not cold again average, but it looks cold when you put it next to the temperatures that we have going on heading through the weekend. What about at the Connecticut shoreline? We'll see high temperatures in the low 70s Friday right through Monday of next week. If you have some vacation days to burn, I mean Monday it looks just about perfect. And then that little dip in the numbers next week, guys.